Lawmakers are trying to find a way to lower home insurance premiums for Floridians, but they're stopping short of quantifying how much of a savings homeowners can expect. Even the bill's author said today he can't guarantee immediate relief for property owners if the two Senate bills become law. He also said during Senate hearings that he can't promise that your premium will, won't increase even more in the near future. You said there's no guarantees. Is there a guarantee that rate payers will not see an increase in their insurance rates? In terms of rate increases, I can't guarantee you that either because between now and when the bulk of the, what we believe, benefits of this bill uh, take place, as we talked a little bit in committee yesterday about, it's hard to say that there won't be any rate increase. Senator Jim Boyd breaking the news to his colleagues that property insurance premiums could still go up for Floridians in the coming weeks. He says increases already in the pipeline could become a reality for homeowners during what's described as the worst property insurance crisis in the state's history. Uh, one of my colleagues, Senator Broxson, asked yesterday if I were a physician and I were classifying this as, you know, uh, severe, critical or, you know, life threatening or, or even even worse, where would you put this on that scale? And I would say it's uh, it, we're on a respirator in the uh, homeowners market in Florida right now, and it's not getting better. Boyd told lawmakers the only relief homeowners can look forward to in the near future will come if their own insurance company enrolls in what's called the RAP fund. The reinsurance to assist policyholders fund gives property insurers a pipeline to state-backed money, $2 billion that insurance companies can rely on in case of catastrophic loss. The RAP fund would give insurance companies the financial confidence that they could pass on to the consumer, but only if your insurance company agrees to enroll in the state program. If a carrier accepts this money, put it in simpler terms, uh, they have to do a supplemental rate filing with the Office of Insurance Regulation by June 30th of this year. If uh, the Senate is uh, kind enough to, to uh, uh, pass this bill, as I hope we will, um, It'll go into effect when the bill is passed. Lawmakers also argued to pass an amendment that would allow any rulemaking to take place immediately. Under pressure, Boyd was asked if he can guarantee that the action taken in the special session will ultimately decrease home insurance premiums. We absolutely believe that with the uh, solicitation reform, with the legal fee reform and, and the other components of this bill, there will be relief. I can't tell you what that is. So one of the biggest takeaways from the past two days of hearings in the Senate Appropriations Committee for Florida homeowners is that there is not going to be a quick and easy fix to Florida's property insurance crisis. Lawmakers are expected to wrap up their hearings tomorrow evening, but right now they are unable to quantify just how much of a savings, if any, homeowners will see in the future.